Before you, you have the minutes of the June 9th meeting. I need a motion to approve those. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Uh, any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign? Motion carries. Before you have the bill claims for payments and transfers, uh, need a motion to uh, approve those? Motion. Motion by uh, Larry Cowan, second by uh, Sam Small. Is there uh, any discussion? Give me just a minute on this late list. Okay. Miranda, you need to nod at me when you've got the motion so we move on. I don't mean, no, not point that finger at me either. Okay, uh, any, and no other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed like sign? Uh, it carries. The uh, bills, claims, payments, and transfers are approved. Uh, before you have the Treasurer's May 2020 financial report, uh, in motion to Second by Larry Morpheus. Do you have it? Yes. Okay. All, uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? That motion carries. Okay. I hope all of you got this ahead of time. But we have uh, need a motion to approve fiscal year 20. 20, 2021 annual wage compensation scale. Um, I believe this is actually a foregone conclusion of the of the committee's report some time ago that we accepted. But I'll I do a need a motion. Motion for Sam Small. There are no changes to last. Renata? No, there's not any changes that you don't know. Okay. I'll have a second? I'll second. Second by Larry Cowan. Got it? Yes. Okay. Are th is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Motion carries. Charlie Shields, you're up. We don't, we didn't get one. Judge, gentlemen, last court meeting. Uh, I brought in, we, I think y'all need to get an update on where Maverick is up on the Henny Farm. And uh, so what I've done is I've asked them to come in. That way y'all can hear straight from the Maverick bunch. And I got Raymond, who's operation manager. Uh, Raymond, if you'll come up. And I got four of them here. That way y'all can see where we're at. We're also working with the Trailtown bunch, trying to get all Rough River Dredge too. Just let y'all wow. know that, Wonderful. like 71 Wonderful. miles of that. That'd be but I'm going to let him talk to y'all about the, where we're at on that up there, the blockage. Good deal. Good evening, gentlemen. Um, in June, we started negotiation with engineering firms to give us our pricing as to getting the engineering done for that and the bridge. Uh, we have chosen an engineering firm, and my understanding is that there was some confusion last physical court meeting as far as what Charlie had done, hadn't done, all of that. Um, Charlie's been helpful to me. Um, during the COVID thing, he was a little tough to get a hold of, as lots of us were. Uh, I 
think some of the confusion that Mr. Haney may have gotten from me was I was waiting on a response to an email that I hadn't got that had some information that we needed to move forward. Uh, that information had been, has been gotten, and I'll let our president, Jeff Jones, tell you where we are as far as moving forward with the grants and things like that. Circus, so bear with me. Uh, as I said, uh, as Raymond said, my name's Jeff Jones. I'm the president of Maverick Disaster and Emergency Services. And uh, one one of the things that, well, what we do, you guys pretty much know, we go into communities like, just like Ohio County, across the state, and across the country since the last time I was here. And uh, there is a great need for what we do. When I started this, I really thought I would do three or four projects a year, just make a nice living and go on and go forth. But with, there was a situation that developed in California, and uh, it was a result of the wildfires you've seen on the news, and it contaminated a bunch of lakes, and we went out there, and I really didn't think we had a shot of getting them project we wound up with three which I'm just no country boy and I couldn't fund all that out of my pocket and so we went looking for a bigger pocket of money to work out of and we have since got that done unfortunately it took longer than I've ever thought possible and part of that you know that's just on me I'm not putting it on anybody else. It just took longer than we thought. And so some of the stuff that we needed to have done by this point in time did not get done when I wanted it done. Now we have that process complete now. We're fully funded, we're moving forward, and uh, we're, Maverick has now become part of a company called AMS, American Mitigation Services. We have right now about $300 million worth of work under contract. And like I said, we're look, working with uh, the group that's looking to rehab uh, Rough River, which is a project I'm really excited about. But as to the what's going on here, which is important to you guys, is starting next week, we have the engineers on board and we'll get them scheduled to get out here now. That's at their schedule. COVID's kind of, COVID's kind of messed up a few things too. It slowed down a lot of stuff. But I think we can have them out here in just the next week or two. We'll get this thing started, get it funding. There's not going to be issues with that that I foresee. And uh, I really look to have the, the debris part started and finished by the end of the summer. No light. And so that part will be out, and then we, you know, deal with the bridge. And I think that will follow right along with it. I'll be happy to give you guys my cards. If you guys, you know, if you want to talk to me personally on a day to day basis, that's fine. That's what I'm here for. And, uh, but I want to tell you guys we appreciate your patience, especially the land. <coughs> I know you, I'm an old farmer. I know what it's like to have your land be and stuff. And so whatever I can do to help, you know, I'm giving Raymond everything he's going to need to get this thing done. But whatever else you guys can think of that needs to be done, let me know. And we're going to get this thing knocked out as quick as we can. Yep, on the timetable. You say it'll be at the end of the summer, which you may be talking about. That's the latest. Uh, late to August, early September maybe? Now, I'm thinking more, more like... That debris, I'm thinking it'll only take about two weeks out of work. I'm thinking in late July, mid August, late. And on the uh, financial end of it, the monies, uh, you feel comfortable that I the monies? Very, I feel very comfortable in it. That the monies will be there? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, when would be the earliest starting point you, or starting time that you think you might get started? On uh, which part? Because we on, have two on, parts. On, on the Rough River on the clock? On the Rough River, it depends on how fast I can get the engineers to do their part because unfortunately we have to work through the core to get permits to cut to get down in there and they've got to do their work and I'll be speaking with them first of the week and how much to find out what their schedule is. And how much time do you think, uh, you know, that uh, last of August is not that far away, how much do you think the Corps of Engineer, Engineers, what kind of time are we looking at for them? I, I, I'm still going to stay with, I think about mid-July, end of July, we will start. And then once we start, you know, we're looking at two, two weeks, three weeks tops. Appreciate it. Oh, no thank problem. you. Like I said, any time. Thank you, all of you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you coming to explain it to you. And uh, the last word he said was what we was really wanting to hear is when it's going to be done. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I'm going to leave some cars laying Please. Up here on the front. That'll be great. Let me have one, Jeff. I'll well, like a bunch up here. Guys, get them as you need. Mr. Haney, you got any questions now? Three, three, four, or did they answer them for you? Yeah. Well, I'm so. curious why we, yeah. lost six, why we lost six weeks for the engineers already. Uh, government not fast. The, the, I, I mean, that have, uh, it's frustrating to us as an issue. Thank you. Uh, it is. That was, uh, I, I tried to put a little levity into that, but the uh, truth is, uh, we're just frustrated. Everything. Everything's yeah. done this way. It takes a little longer than you think. Yes, right there. He can answer that, Mr. Haney's. Please, please do. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't hear he was wondering. He was wanting to know how come it took so long for the engineers to get get to this point. We well, yeah, it was kind of like you know you get, you get something started and things pile up on top of each other. That's what we had. COVID-19 has stopped a lot of things in this track. We haven't gotten any engineering done since probably February. And it's been, you know, these people are just now coming back to work and trying to get them out in the field and then get the field out and get them back in and get drawn up. They just haven't been doing it. Yeah. Yeah, it stopped. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it just like when I need a restaurant. I'm sorry, there's just. Hadn't been restaurants open. Right. Well, I, uh, I don't mean to be a smart aleck, but I talked to the engineer that came out, and uh, because I was expecting a call from them to come in and get started, and they told me they were waiting on an okay from Raymond Hayden. They insinuated to me they were ready to go. Uh, now that may not be right, but that's what they told me. Yeah, I, yeah, I think there was some misinformation. That was B and B, the people that uh, came out, and one of the guys, uh, young younger fellow named Matt, we went through some of the stuff with him, and he's who I actually talked to. And he said, I he said you need to talk Jim, to Raymond Hagen. We Jim have not been given a go ahead to go. So yeah, that's why that's why I'm three. confused. I had hope. Oh. Let's try and get mine to do it. Uh, I had hoped that maybe so we'll take, uh, they we'll were going to get the because I didn't see where they did. Well, yeah. personally, I don't think they won't be able to do side to side. But unfortunately, the Corps of Engineers has but they're each looking for different money. requirements and what I think is necessary. You know, that's a and uh, we just had to jump into the hill with the bridge. And I said, well, let me give you a card. There's not a hand card on the camera. Want to talk to are, 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 have you selected the engineer? Right now, Burgess Line. Okay, it's on the Kentucky. Yeah. Thank you. Your quarter yeah, well, we nice you know, the river is very down right now. Yeah. So you can see it's just one all of that. Yeah, it's a mess. I know some of the money is Yeah, actually, I'd love to. I mean, if the state didn't create the bridge, is going. Probably not as bad if you as you guys that old tank over there and right, right covered it up, they've never got a bridge. Right. And uh, because or whatever it was. Long story short, I'm not working, I'm not making any money. 
Yeah. But you know what Lowe's did? Yeah. That's in there. That's good to me. That is in there. Well, yeah. Things we were talking about in the earlier meeting yeah. was property loss in these farms. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I can I can okay, uh, I can feel for you because I've had two back surgeries. I'm a retired iron worker. We need to move. Well, I know it's hard to get around. Thank you, folks. We're going to move on to their meeting. Uh, Justin, this was not in any way Charles. Would you explain this uh, motion we need to make? The Thank you. Need to carry sign all these uh, forms. Yes, uh, court. What this is is we were contacted by the Ohio County Hospital, which a lot of you are aware, are seeking a, a significant loan, a USDA loan, uh, with respect to an expansion. Uh, the Hoppy County, uh, Mr. Court, as Schultz, shareholder of the Ohio County Public Facilities Corporation, owns the real estate that the hospital sits on. And so we have to be in cooperation with the hospital in order for them to secure this loan as they need um, uh, car uh, collateral as far as the real estate goes. So there's a number of, uh, as, as you know, governments need a lot of forms to sign, and they've asked the judge to sign a lot of forms. We included this in one motion, and, I, and forgive me for reading it, I may paraphrase there at the end, but uh, what it would say is, is I'd ask the court to move the, uh, to move as the fiscal court and as the sole shareholder of the Ohio County Public Facility Corporation to approve, adopt, and accept on behalf of the court and the corporation uh, resolution as written, which is attached as Exhibit A to the motion uh, with the USDA uh, for a loan not to exceed the sum of $16,750,000 and to permit the judge executive to execute that along with the resolution as written as, as Exhibit B um, titled Loan Resolution Security Agreement. That's more to secure the, the property. Uh, the judge to execute that. Or a similar resolution, uh, it's attached as Exhibit C, uh, an equal opportunity uh, agreement, it's D. You also have uh, another, another assurances agreement, uh, certifications, um, other one other application, which is, which is I. It also needed the operating budget, uh, which would relate more to the hospital, and a balance sheet. Uh, which were all attached to exhibits that I sent you uh, previously. And, and so I'd ask that that motion be made, seconded and approved, so that the judge executives can sign all those documents and the hospital can proceed on with their expansion. Okay. I have one question. Yes. If they default, the court is not liable to pay the loan, are they? No, we're just, all we are is uh, liable for the real estate. We would lose the real estate. Because we would make that have a motion by Larry Town to do that resolution. Second. And Second by Jason Bull. And you can add to that motion if you want that the county uh, would not be responsible for the payment. Yeah, I'll let that motion reflect that. Okay. So we're all we're liable is the piece of property. Right. Are you? Do you have that, Miranda? Yes. And then he's going to give you a copy of the motion. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any further discussion? Being none. Roll call that one. That six. That's. Sixteen and a half million dollars. If it was fifteen million, we wouldn't bother. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Town. Yes. Markey. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. All right. Thank you. That's that is uh, passed. Uh, as you know, we approved the House Bill three six fifty two projects a few months ago or a few weeks ago, uh, but. According to Ann, we had to amend in what's carried over from this year's in with it. The 200, House Bill 200, which you're spending on now, had to be amended in. So the projects, no. Into we, one. We got Humble Valley Road first. Are we talking about that or are we doing the, the House Bill 352 projects? House Bill 352. So what are we, what are we moving, what are we carrying over? Uh, the projects is left over. Ann, can you tell them real quick? Yeah. The projects that we had under House Bill 200 that were funded yes. and ready to work on, which was the county road upgrade, there was just a little bit of money, of money left from the 480000 last year. The county park building, the airport, the sheriff vehicles, and county improvements. So all of those are funded 
that they've made a new rule, they have to be moved over to the new house bill. So it's just a matter of paperwork. And need a motion to that. Effect. Please. So it's a resolution. Second. Motion, by motion by Larry Count. Second. Second with Sam Small. Is there any discussion? That's all right. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, but it doesn't change the list that we voted on. The other. Okay. That's right. Make sure. uh, res this resolution on the TVA. Who ha who so wants? You skipped the, you skipped the Humble Valley. We don't need it. We need it. You skipped it. Humble, Humble Valley. Valley. You skipped the line. We have to amend it. Yeah, yeah, you gave me the old uh, old uh, agenda without it on there. Yeah, it's my fault. Of course it is. <laughs> we just need to amend it. Uh, we have to apply for a second portion of funds yes. for it. So. Yes, we had the fund on the 8020 for Humble Valley and Friendship Road, which is already done. We're trying to get the rest of our money from the state. We had to do this other uh, application. So I need a motion to approve that resolution. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphy. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Is there any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign? That's passed. Um, okay, the TVA thing, who's gonna explain that to us? That's just uh, the TVA money that we receive, and it goes, uh, you all are authorizing by resolution for it to go to uh, not with CETA. IDA. IDA. I'm sorry. So the IDA still, because I'm on the IDA. We, uh -huh. what, once we get this money, then we decide where it's going to go. Yeah. This is just saying how much money. It has going. to go by, yeah. by the statute. Yeah. 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 But this is just showing right now how much money we're receiving. Yeah. I'll make yeah. it. Motion by Joe Barn. Second. Second by, by Jason Bullock. Is there any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That motion carries that resolution. Now comes to the show that you've all been waiting for. Thank you. Uh, hey, uh, I, I need my, that back for notes too. I got some names written down. Here you want? I got. No, I got it. She was taking away my notes. Uh, annual bids. Uh, I will tell you, we did have an annual bid opening prior to this meeting where they were uh, open and looked at and read out aloud in that meeting. Now we're going to entertain motions <coughs> to accept the different categories in the, uh, in, uh, the first one up is contract hall. I would move that Mark Marietta be awarded the contract call for Oahu County Fiscal Court. Second. Uh, motion by Larry Count, second by Sam Small. Have you got it? Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. I want to make a motion on the stone, which we went over in the previous meeting, that uh, we decline both bids. Second motion. Motion for Sam Miles, second by Larry uh, Camp. Got it. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. There was no bids for concrete mix in place nor there were no bids for steel pipe and pipe bands. Uh, primer tack and RS2 oil. I've got two bids here, one from Marathon and one from Asphalt Materials after looking at the bids. Make a motion to accept Asphalt Materials. Second. Second. Uh, motion by Joe Barnes, second by who? I'll second. Okay. Second Larry Morfield. You got it? Okay. Is there any further discussion on oil? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 
Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. I understand there were no bids for diesel fuel or gasoline. Uh, so we can continue to get it the way ha we have been. And for the record, uh, our gasoline now is all purchased on a, uh, a comp fuel card, which is like a credit card, and uh, we get the best deal we can uh, through that card company, and that's how we uh, get our gas. Uh, blacktop. On Blacktop, we received two bids, one from Scotty's Contracting, in stone and the other one from road builders after reviewing the bids make a motion to accept scotty's i second it go ahead and get that price i'll let you go ahead and read it on the uh both of them no scotty's on scotty's it is scotty's six out of the mill is 6056 yeah and, and then, late is 6275 right 6275 Okay. Sorry, Joe, I didn't know you'd find a second. Oh, well, I just okay. had to look through them. Do we have a second on his motion? I second. Second by Larry Morphy. You got it? Any further discussion? Hey, Judge. Yes, sir. Can I say something? Yes, sir. I'm coordinator. I'm from Road Builders. I just want to tell you a little bit about us. We're, again, we're from Greenville, Kentucky, just over the next county over. And, uh, again, we appreciate the opportunity to bid and be here. And uh, again, we appreciate uh, you being we're, we're bidding competitively, bidding, and uh, at the same time, uh, I know that uh, Scotty's has been here and they're local, I understand that. But at the same time, we've done a lot of work around, we've done several jobs around here. Uh, we've done, uh, and you're talking about whole distance, we've done Highway uh, 762 up on the north end for the KYTC, uh, and also we did the HSIP widening on Highway 231 south of the uh, WK Parkway, and also we did Highway 85 south of Centertown, all for the KYTC. And uh, again, I know with the KYTC, they, they pick low bid, and uh, also with, uh, I know with a lot of cities and all the other counties, they, uh, and they pick low bid on most of their work. And I know with state funding, and I know with the COVID-19 and the situation the state is in, with low uh, low funding and uh, and uh, I know with uh, the state and the way they are I know with discretionary and flex funds I know that they're going to be looking at low bid and again I, I'm not trying to do anything but I'm just suggesting and, and we're, again we're we're here and we just want the opportunity to do the work and again we appreciate the opportunity to, to bid with y'all and uh, we just like to have the opportunity to uh, to do the work for y'all. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, we had a motion and second. If there's no other discussion, uh, all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, we had no equipment, vehicle, lease, rental, did we? Bits. No. None. Uh, plastic pipe. Who has that one? I do. For uh, Kevin off. Yes. We had two bids. One from... Uh, uh, Kevin all Southern States, and the other one was from uh, Ohio Valley Drainage. And after a little discussion, we decided to, or I make a motion Corbin. that we accept uh, Southern States. I'll second that motion. We have a motion by Larry Morphew, second by Larry Town, to accept Southern States bid on plastic pipe. Uh, is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Electrical HVAC service agreement. Uh, the HVAC, uh, you want me to read the prices or just make the motion to accept the uh, complete just comfort motion, and the motion. Fully. motion will be fine. We just got one bid. Yeah. We, we, only make the, we only had one uh, bid for uh, HVAC. It come from Complete Comfort and Heating and Cooling, so I make a motion that we accept uh, Complete Comfort, Heating and Cooling's HVAC Second. bid. Who seconded it? Sam. Sam. Okay. Motion by Jason Bullock, second the same to Sam Small, to to accept the uh, Complete Comfort bid for the HVAC service agreement. 
Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Motion carries. I'm going to make the motion on the ambulance service one. Uh, it is to uh, extend the contract we have until the next fiscal court meeting, at which time our only bidder, will, which is uh, uh, oh, Comcare. Comcare. Golly. Uh, Comcare. Yeah, we only we'll, have one bid. We'll attend the only one bid for Comcare. They will attend the July meeting and talk to all of us then. So at this time, I make a motion that we continue this contract for that period of time until we discuss it at the next court meeting. I second. Have set a motion by David Johnson, second by uh, Larry Morphew. Okay. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Um, on the uh, on your agenda, you see the closed session, but we need to add that other letter too, which is the uh, personnel. What's the letter for it? F. F. So under section C and section F, for a short and guys, we do need to make the short closed session. I move we're going to close session. Motion by Larry Cam, second by Joe Barn. Make a motion to go back in for second. Everybody in favor? I'll beat the judge. Yes. <laughs> Maybe he ought to do it officially, though. Yeah, I just, where's my perfect one? Oh. Hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead. Renette. Side. The ball. Okay. I see. Helen? Is it my turn to buy it? You're ready to pay. So now you need to go to the water. How quickly I forget. I'll try. Thank you. 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 Thank yeah. I went there last two weeks ago. Oh, you did? Good. Who, who's open? Uh, the Mexican place there in the old plaza. What? Yeah. They have the best burritos, I think. Um, they do have good food. Yeah. I've got several personnel issues we need to run through here. And then some board appointments. Uh, we're going to hire at the golf course. To fill an open position. Haley Renfro is an attendant, 868 an hour, effective 624. Uh, so uh, that's what we're, that, that's up. Just need to do a roll call on that. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Cam? Yes. Lee? Yes. 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 That's the one we're not going to do. So turn it. Uh, at the golf course, uh, under the guidelines that we accepted uh, with, as the uh, weight scale, we're going to move Lane Romero as a groundskeeper at the golf cor cor course from 868 to 970, uh, effective 628. Roll call. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Yes. Count? Yes. Four yes. Small? Yes. Yes. Also at the park, the park maintenance man, Philip Wade, we want to move uh, per the guidelines of the wage subsidy. And I, from the wage uh, scale, from the wage scale committee, from 1222 an hour to 1301, effective 628-2020. Roll call. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Count. Yes. 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 Uh, same. I did. Well, almost same thing. We're going to move Jason Earl, Park Maintenance, from Maintenance Level Two to Maintenance Level One. Uh, or is it two to one to two? One to two. Uh, and, and move his pay from 1301 to 1352. 
effective 628-2020. Roll call. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Pam. Yes. Matthew. Yes. Small. Yes. Yes. Um, we need to have an animal shelter, um, and this will be subsidized. It will cost us only a third of the pay for a Victoria Town at 903 per hour, effective 71. Oh, T O G. T O N G. T O N T O N G. I mean, yeah. Right. Yes. Is this full time or? It's uh, it's uh, uh, seasonal. Season. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Towns. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Pull up. Yes. Okay. While we're on this roll here, let me go and do these board appointments. To the board of assessments, as you know, Mr. Gwen Cagle passed away a few months ago. Fine man. He served on that for many years on the assessment uh, board. Uh, I want to appoint Marty Shepard to uh, fill his term out. Roll call. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. 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 Jody Fleener, and that would be effective immediately since it's open position. I, uh, Judge, I don't think you can vote on that until the board votes, OC the board votes and brings it to you, according to our bylaws. Okay, well, the, the chairman sent it to me and the chairman of the uh, tourism board, okay. But, but I, I don't think it can be done until the bylaws says we vote on it. Now, if we vote here, it's still pending on what the yes. board, if you do it this since way. Since there's not been a meeting, it's the meeting dates and stuff like that, since it's, that's true, if, if those see the board didn't, but the timeliness of the meetings, they want to come through this one first. Barnes? Yes, as long as it's done in here with the OCEDA board. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Small? Yes. Pull up? Is, that, is it the feeling of the uh, OCEDA board that this is the individual that they want? They haven't voted yet. This is who tourism wants to represent tourism. Oh. The, the entity sound brings I mean, I'm fine with waiting until after they vote, Is it? but is there a deadline? Yeah, here's the deal. What they'll do, they'll show up to their board and meet and, and vote. If they do, she'll be there for that meeting, to serve that meeting. Of course, we haven't replaced anybody for so long. I don't know what the order is anyway, because. Well, Justin, yeah, can, can we can we do that on our end? And I mean, you could you could vote for Jody and then the board approve, but but how the bylaws are and how the ordinance was written, the board would recommend the name to the uh, board, board and the board. So we kind of put a card before mean, the you, horse. You know, as long as the, the board doesn't uh, disapprove, then you know. You, if the board disapproves and just bring us their name, we we'll vote to, on that. There you go. Yes. Okay. So this would just be a for not or this is just if the uh, only way that she's going to be through is if the board right and so her in after we have voted. Yeah. 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 the individual. No, I said normally the board is doing that. Just the board has to vote yeah. before this can be. Yeah. Yeah. No, normally the deal is the entity that this represents, like tourism, uh, chamber of commerce, uh, the hospital, school board. Each one of those entities send somebody. That's usually who it is. But like I said, I think I think she's right that the O.C. board will have to vote too. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Yes. Small. Yes. Yes, depending on the, the outcome of the board vote. Okay, okay, now let's get on down this agenda here. When do we uh, make the motion on the flex there, Judge? Is it on the agenda? We already passed it. Shoot, we got to do that. Thank Maybe you. We wasn't on that. Can we, do we do Thank it in the committee reports? Because committee reports. That's we met as a committee on that. Yeah, it goes to the committee reports. Uh, let's do, we got about two more things, then we get to, to uh, that. We've got personnel done. Uh, under the, we've got two uh, 
water fire hydrants we'd like to put in. We, Ben, myself, and, and uh, Larry Camp. Uh, one of them's on Country Club Road, the contracted through the city of Hartford with uh, Miller Excavating. And uh, that's uh, Johnny Jr. Uh, to uh, do one on Country Club Road at $7,354.27. And that's the fire hydrant and getting it over Cross Country Club Road to the OC, OZ Tyler people. This is actually put in it, it's so that the water could be provided for OZ Tyler yes. to hit any fire that happened. So if they had a fire, they needed a line. Now, yeah. there's a six inch line there. Uh, yeah. It's Hartford's. Uh, I also priced it through uh, Ohio See, County, and that. it was like twenty thousand because they had come from such a distance to run another line out there. Yeah. So that was the reason we're going with Hartford, and Hartford's got it already there, and they assured us that they could handle the water flow. Yes. Uh, would we'll you would experience. you make a motion, Sam? I'm it's sorry, I I didn't know you was working on it too. So we were both working on it. <laughs> Well, uh, go ahead. Uh, you want to make the motion to do that for seven thousand three hundred fifty-four twenty-seven so from moved. the water come from the water line. Uh, um, so move. I'll second. Motion by Sam Small. Uh, second by uh, Joe Barnes. You got it, Miranda. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Now the next one I have is up on Askins Road to serve eight houses, uh, and it is uh, six thousand eight. How much was it, Miranda? Six thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Six thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Am I right, Miranda, on that? I thought it was six seven forty, but. Oh, okay. Well, golly. How could you be that wrong? Keep you that as ten for a tip. Is that a wild county water? That's yeah. Ohio County water. Would you make that motion, Larry? Yeah, sorry. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is there any further discussion on that? Will that, will that be put on the end or? Yes. Is it just yeah, no, they're, ready, they're ready to roll. I didn't know where we was at on the water line list. I knew you had some other ones. That, did they already get them in? Or you want this up in front of those other ones? Well, this is on fire hydrants. You're, this, that's the only one you got pending. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You were talking about the water line. I thought it was the water line. Another lady, it, it, you were it one said water line, and I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. where this is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Miranda, would you make a note to remind me tomorrow to call both those water districts to proceed? Um, and according to Charlie, it needs to be put on uh, 1298. Yeah, pick up all the houses. Yeah, let that the motion reflect. It's at 1298. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're moving on to committee reports. Now then, uh, I got one. Now, uh, bring for Sam on the flex first, if you don't mind. Uh, Ben's the prices are changed. I have the correct prices wrote down here. I'm gonna read them all. <coughs> uh, for our flex fund recommendations, Harmons Ferry Road. Uh, Starting at the uh, Mosley Road till the money runs out, $33,416.70. Zion Church Road, $93,913.86. Old Rob Roy Lane, $17,762.25. Salem Road, $90,000. Scott Town Road, $88,811.25. And Old Litchfield Road, four thousand two hundred sixty-two ninety-four. And I make that a motion. I second it. Motion by Sam Spa. Second by uh, who said Larry, uh, Larry Morphy. Larry Morphy. You got it. You got it. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like Sam. The motion carries. Uh, Katie, I have a committee report. Okay, I'm going to make a quick comment. I got okay, uh, I'm going to tell you just in case uh, uh, we're trying to make this as pleasant as we can. 
uh, and my administrative assistant and the uh, uh, fiscal court clerk is back there in the corner and uh, a lot of this banter going on is in fun. I'm not really, I'm not really uh, fast fussing at it. I just want you to know that. Okay. <laughs> okay, J Jason. Uh, well, um, as, as you guys know, last meeting, uh, David put together a community mental health committee. Yes. Uh, we actually met today, this morning at 10 o'clock. Um, first time we met, uh, we got together, we kind of got an idea on our heads what we wanted to talk about, and then we decided who's going to talk with some certain entities to kind of get some information. So we just kind of had a, a meeting where we got together, decided kind of where we were going to go with this and who we need to reach out to. And we're going to meet again July 14th at 10 o'clock. And this is the uh, Community Mental Health Committee. That, that is, is great. I uh, think some good work can be done there, well, Jason. I sure do. Yes. Uh, they expanded their scope the first thing, which is good. I am pointed that it was, uh, I said, suicide prevention. But they realized that this is part of a bigger problem and, and identified that in what Jason said there. So I really appreciate that. Other committee reports? Other committee reports? Bean, I'm going to go to Magistrate's comments and, and, uh, and requests. Sam? Mm, I've said enough. Jason? Joe? I have a quick one. Uh, the gentleman from Road Builders, you had a, a good speech earlier. Just wanted to answer your question on that. Uh, the bids, you were 25 cents a ton cheaper in place, uh, but where we have stood on this is Scotty's is using our local rock quarry, and we backed into a number to see. I just wanted you to know that I did check into this. The amount of money we spent on blacktop last year, uh, backing into a difference on that 25 cents was four thousand dollars difference in savings but being that they're using our local rock quarry the amount that we get back in mineral severance tax and occupational tax plus the local jobs in our county is is one reason why we opted to go with the scotty's bid and the concern of blacktop coming all the way from greenville and, and cooling off was another one so just wanted to let you know where we were standing on that i know it you did have the lowest bid of four, you know, and it wouldn't be like a four thousand dollars savings, but in the long run for the county, we're looking at a lot more uh, money that's going to affect our budget. Yeah, and, and we do very much appreciate your bid, and I appreciate you came over and met with myself and our road supervisor uh, a week ago or so. Appreciate that you pleasant man, and and we enjoyed that and. Uh, it was just the it was just the consensus of uh, the court that this is the way we go. We'd encourage you to bid again. My question would be to the court is how low would, would you have to be to get the work? Yeah, that's the question. I mean, like, I'm that, we consider to it, it's a, it's a fair question, yeah. but I, I think we would have to do some math to yeah. to say. That. Uh, but when, without giving you a dollar amount, it would be like a yeah. ooh factor when you saw it. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, once we got to bids, we was able to compare that, but the, uh, having a number on top of their head, with that also affects how much we went by last year's blacktop and how much was money was spent blacktop. As I was saying earlier, it's okay if I say one more thing, and I just want to... Yes, sir. Again, sir. I appreciate it. Yes, sir, because you've went to the trouble coming here and everything you've got. Oh, we're glad to hear what you've got to say. Like I said, I know with discretionary and the flex funds, I know that there is a clause in there that does say that the modern procurement code provides with the KRSA 45 um, requires that the award be lower, lowest responsible bidder meeting the criteria of the responsible established by the department. Um, and again, I, I understand Kelly's remarks, but I'm just, I mean, with the K KYTC, they always pick low bid, and I understand. It is accounting, and I understand that, but yeah. I just want y'all to know that. Uh, again, we're here. We, we're it's kind of like uh, on the on the state. If you were bidding and you were out of state, you know, I'm sure there would be some state, you know, factors that would factor in, you know, about someone being in state, yes. and that's where we're at. Being that they're in county here and jobs here in the county, 
plus the the mineral severance tax that we receive in our county by them buying the rock in the county you know where your rock would be coming from Greenville so you know you would actually be helping Greenville but in our in the long run it's a much better bid on our county and and, and the money factors in much higher on the on the mineral severance tax and occupational tax so and the jobs yes Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Larry Camp. Larry Morphy. I just want to thank our uh, road department. Last night down on uh, Cabin Lane, they had a monster tree knock the power out, and they had to, the road department beat Warren Rule down there, and they had to wait till they got the power safely so they could cut the tree up and then take the back hole and get it out of the road. Where did it fall? Which end did where did it fall down there by the cabins or mm -hmm. right there by the cabins. Uh, they actually uh, got back to the road department uh, building around six o'clock and got the big loader and their chainsaws and all that that the three men crew, including their supervisor. The tree was like this yeah. big round. I went down there. And there they were eleven thirty when they left the that one fell on that house, you know, it kinda of fell I do have one thing to say. I didn't. Yes, I, I went and voted today at the high school, and I just want to say with the uh, Bess and her staff, that was smooth. It was quick, in and out, and they did a really good job. I know that they've had to deal with a lot, and she's handled the way she handled it was really good. And I just uh, want to make one comment on that too. That uh, no reflection on Beth or or her uh, department. But I don't know what the judge was thinking when he allowed one precinct per county in the state when you got a, a the city of Louisville that's allowed one precinct to vote in the population that they've got. Now, what was he thinking? Yeah, right. okay. uh, and enough said. I know what you're saying there, but the way Bess handled it, no, it, no, it I'm was not smooth saying, and no. she did a really good job. Well, I sure that. hope we're back to normal for the yeah, November yeah. election. She, they had to do a lot of extra but, stuff. But they did do, the officers here did do a lot to accommodate. As you know, many of us voted at the courthouse prior to it. Many of them got mail-in ballots. And I think I haven't heard the numbers, of course, because uh, it's not, wasn't over until 10 minutes ago of the day. But I believe the turnout was better with all these options than it would have been otherwise. Because, you know, the uh, presidential year, the primary election, there's so little to vote for because by the time the primary election for president gets to Kentucky, it's all over. You know, it's already been announced who winners were before he gets here to us. So there's not a lot to bring the turnout out, but I think we've gone better today than we would have done four years yeah. ago. I would have liked to have seen, especially in larger counties, but even in a county like Ohio, I would have liked to seen two precincts because I talked to numerous people in Fortville said they wasn't going to yeah. drive. And, and I could see that stand. Yeah. But I'm saying being from yeah. right here, right hey, it, it, and, it and I think it'll be a very low turnout. Hey, if there's two in Ohio County and one of them's in Beaverdale, where would the other one be? Down. Sit it down. Sit it down. I tell you what. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Cut me off the knees. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Hey, uh, we've had a good. By the way, I want to thank. I don't know how I got thrown in the chest. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank all of you tonight. Uh, we've actually covered so much business tonight, and you know, all did step up and and uh, participated, done what you had to do, and we got through it. And uh, there's not been any punches thrown, uh, except for Larry, uh, and they were in fun. So, uh, with that said, I really appreciate y'all tonight. That said, also, if there's nothing else for the good of this body, I'm going to adjourn this meeting. I, I did want to make one final comment, Judge. Okay. I certainly like the way we're settled here, and, and if we can bring the good furniture over here and put you and, and Miranda up here, and maybe Justin up here, or whatever. I really do like, I want to reiterate, I really do it, like it this make it a better flow. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I do too. It is easier than kind of, you know, you, if I'm talking yeah. to you guys, yeah. to get the. Yeah. Until you don't want to see you, it's well, like you can't do it. Well, you guys don't have to look at me. I am. Back, back. See you.